Hi, I'm Nick and welcome to Deviant Hunting. Deviant Hunting is a show devoted to showcasing the most creative and awesome art from around the Deviant Art community, no matter how long they've been on the site or how popular they are. All artists on the show have given me permission to use their artwork and all links can be found in the description below, so let's get into it. The first artworks of the show come from speed painter Paper Platt. In January 2013, Paper Platt's mission was to draw something every day. However, this project expanded and Paper Platt has now drawn over 190 artworks in 2013. Paper Platt uses unique opalesque colours in many artworks which adds a gentle allure. Paper Platt also adds scale through the use of small humanoid figures which make the artwork feel complete. Judson cuts, carves, glues and stains his exact replica of a Dragon Priest staff from the popular game Skyrim. This is a really impressive replica and I for one would be proud to display it on my mantelpiece. Head over to Judson's page to see more pictures. Links are in the description below. Yu Yu Tagashi style is very difficult to explain. It's a mix between graffiti like art, Japanese art and super detailed textures and spikes. Yu Yu Tagashi primarily uses a digital format combining digital painting with photography as seen in this artwork. The female characters in this artwork seem very indifferent, which is juxtaposed by the massive detail and information present. How would you describe Yu Yu's style with the exception of the word awesome? Patchy Chris is a mural painter and the designer of this artwork called Poland Schmollen. This colourful design was submitted to the city of Haywood as a mural. However, in a turn of events, it will instead be painted on a utility box. Head over to Patchy Chris's profile to see more of her great utility box designs. Black Ravel produces some of the most amazing fan art from the hit series Supernatural. Black Ravel has over 24 pages of these fantastic colourful artworks which range in style and mood. Black Ravel also has the ability to digitally paint many highly realistic digital portraits of pop culture icons such as Sherlock, Loki and of course Sam and Dean. Check out Black Ravel's page to see them all. Delilah Hugar 238's artwork titled Are We Running Out of Hope depicts man-made and natural disasters through the use of two characters. The upper character represents a natural volcanic eruption. If you look closely, the wicked tribals on her dress resemble flowing magma from the eruption at her shoulders. The second character symbolizes dirty and polluted water. Notice the subtle fish bones and scales incorporated in the character's water-like dress. The final artworks of the show come from the very talented Tessert. Armed with coloured pencils, Tessert can do some very amazing things. Tessert's style can contrast very deep and rich colours such as the purple and gold in this artwork or be utilised to blend soft colours into pure harmony like this piece. Tessert is capable of blending unconventional colours together as shown here. This is my favourite artwork by Tessert because of the unique colour diversity and the general amount of skill and awesomeness crammed into each artwork in her collection. I am very excited to see more artworks from Tessert and I hope you are too. Thank you for watching Deviant Hunting. All links to the artists are in the description below, so I encourage you to check out some of your favourite artists, leave them a comment, add their work to your favourites or even add them to your Deviant Watch to see all their amazing artwork I just could not fit into the show. Furthermore, please check out the Deviant Art group called Deviant Hunting to post your own artworks and to see some of the artworks of other people who also watch the show. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now but not forever. If you like what you saw in the episode, please subscribe and share my video so I can keep helping to promote talented artists on Deviant Art.